All right, so we're gonna go down to um, to after 2016 down on the Goldie. We're gonna go and um, catch up with Fez and Ollie, and then uh, also gonna just go and pick up Benny Jones. We'll get down and, and try and cover as much of the show as we can in the um, in a couple of hours that we got to do it. So it should be good. Let's go and see. Sweet. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I was either gonna do that. I'm in two more and we're gonna fucking fish this afternoon. What are you doing? Because I'm going to hit the road so I can get home. Yeah, yeah. That's what you get with the GT Buster. Unbelievable. What a flogger. Oh, they're bringing them in. Um, oh, oh, top them secret. In. Top yeah. secret? Actually, the cast boys will be the first to see this, but in the near future, there will be real porn. <laughs> yes, how good's that? Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. That's a three. Getting jiggy with it. What are they? What do you got? But when we turn to this side, that button there, full lock, baby. You go or he goes. <laughs> Johnny, got, you can't have lock. I've got the five k. You're like me. I've got the five k and the old gold one. Old chicken frame straight into water with a lock. Yeah, yeah, they paint them, mate. Yeah, and they paint them. Blue water stick bait special. It's, uh, it's a little bit lighter than the uh, GT special I'm used to, but I want one badly. Give me one, please. Four plus here at 2016 after show. She'll be pretty much in store tomorrow. So we've got 1,000 through to 4,000 size. The Stratic Sea on 4 Plus has already been a pretty popular reel in Australia for guys fishing lightweight finesse applications but want a tough reel. It's even tougher now. We've got the Hagani gear We're on the wall here. 230% stronger than the Zig Zycast. 130% stronger than the old Colt Forge gear. So you know the reel's going to be pretty efficient and really strong on them big fish, even for a really compact reel. But no, one of the biggest things is we've lightened the rotor. Over 20% lighter. 20% easier to turn now with the handle. The G free body close to the rod, so less fatigue when you're fishing all day. Probably one of the best things in my fishing I've found. 2500 size reel. I'm now using a 4000 instead of a 2500 because the weight is about the same in the new reel. So, for all you little cast fans out there that love your fishing and love going hard on lightweight stuff, Strategy Sour 4 Plus is the one. Okay, here we've got the new uh, Mako Ronin. It's a new frame, it's available from November onwards. Mm -hmm. Something we've been developing. It's more of a fashion frame yeah, right. and available in three different lens types. And yep. I think it'll do pretty well for the younger guys out there who like to look good while they're fishing as well. True, so what do you got, mate? You got a glass lens or a polycarb lens for those? Or? It will only be, be available in glass lenses, this one. So high quality, quality scratch resistant, yep. internal mirrors. Right. Um, we've got this particular lens in it. It's also so coming in the green mirror, which has been really popular already for us. Um, like what you've got right there, and we've also got a new lens coming, which is a copper lens base, which actually is a gradient, so it goes dark to lighter down the bottom. Yeah. 
on these babies too. So don't waste them every five seconds. Get all over it. This is a feature alone at the moment, it's the new 3D structure scan picture. It has your normal 2D picture, which I'll show you in a second, but the 3D part is where it comes into its own. If you've never used structure scan before, you can jump straight onto this and you can see, oh, there's a reef over here to the side, or there's fish hanging off the bottom. It's very simple to see. If we go back to the old traditional, uh, sorry, back on here still, we go back to the traditional picture, in 2D, it can be a little bit hard for a lot of people to work out, oh that's actually fish sitting on the bottom or whatever. Okay, whereas that 3D image just bang, contrasted dots sitting off the bottom, it's fish. So simplified. Simplified. So, then once you've learned 3D, you come back to the 2D picture and you see how much more range you're getting over any of the other side scans on the market. That's where it really sells itself to. So back on the 3D, those little red dots are actually fish. Yeah, so that's your fish. So, we're on the blue background at the moment, so anything that's not attached to the ground, i.e. fish, yep. is going to show up in a contrasting colour like red. Yes, if yes. you're running a brown, um, see better said that the colours will show up as blue dots. Yeah, right. Something to contrast so you can see the definition the difference between the bottom and the fish. Yeah, right. So these are all just fish coming along. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah, cool. And like when you move your finger on the screen, bring it around and see the actual fish. We can move it around. Yep. You can turn the cursor mode on. You can sit here. It's like playing around with Google Earth or something. You know? Zoom in on it. Right, so that was after 2016. Me and Benny caught up with a few people. Um, seen most of the stalls, got some stuff in there. So it was pretty good. I'm pretty keen to get back there tomorrow and have a bit more look in detail. But that was just um, that was a pretty quick hit and run mission. So I'll be fishing. We'll see how we go tomorrow.